In this chapter, I want to take a quick look at adding plugins to tracks, since it's something we kind of glossed over in previous videos. It doesn't matter whether you add them in the edit window or the mix window. The process is exactly the same. Click on the first insert slot on the drums track. Because this is a stereo track, we have the option to add a multi-channel plugin or a multi-mono plugin. The cool thing about multi-mono plugins is that they allow us to create different settings for the left and right channels, which we'll talk about in the upcoming chapters on the plugin window. Let's stick with multi-channel plugins for now. We can also choose between TDM or RTAS plugins on HD systems. TDM plugins use DigiDesign hardware resources to run, and RTAS plugins use your computer's resources. Depending on how big your project is, using TDM plugins can be a big help in freeing up CPU power. If your project is fairly small, it doesn't really matter which version you use. Here we have a bunch of categories that the plugins are broken up into, like EQ, Dynamics, Pitch Shift, and so on. We can change how these plugins are organized in the Preferences. Open the Setup menu and select Preferences. Make sure the Display tab is selected. You'll see a preference here called Organize Plugin Menus By. Click on the drop down. Right now it's set to Category, which is what we already looked at. We can also set it to Flatlist, Manufacturer, or Category and Manufacturer. Flatlist isn't very useful because it simply lists every single plugin that's available to you. The plugins that come included with Pro Tools already makes this list huge, and if you have any third party plugins, this list is going to be way too long. Manufacturer organizes the plugins based on the company that made them. But again, if you have a lot of plugins from one manufacturer, the plugins will still just be in one long list. And I find that a little annoying. But some people do like this option a lot. My personal favorite is Category and Manufacturer, which displays both the category lists and the manufacturer lists. Now I can easily look at all the EQs or browse all the plugins from Bomb Factory. Choose the option that best suits your workflow. Another thing we can do is select a default EQ and Dynamics plugin so that we can have quick access to them in this window. Open the Preferences up again and select the Mixing tab. Use these drop downs to choose your favorite EQ and Dynamics plugins. I like the EQ3 4 band for my EQ and the Bomb Factory BF76 for my Dynamics plugin. Feel free to choose whatever you want. Close the preferences when you're done. Now when we click on an insert slot, the two plugins we selected are listed right at the top so we can get to them quickly. Move ahead to the next two chapters to learn about all of these menus and buttons along the top of the plugin window.